<laughs> Hello? Oh, yes, Your Highness. No, nobody, Your Highness. Right away? Yes. 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 I understand. <laughs> Your Highness flatters me. Anna. Darling! I've got the whole evening off. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, but you shouldn't surprise me like this. But I wanted to surprise you. Aren't you pleased? Oh, I'm delighted, but uh, uh, you shouldn't come to my apartment at this hour. Think of my position. Oh, it's always your position. Darling, how handsome you look in that coat. I could die in the arms of a coat like that. Uh, yes, uh, but not tonight, Anna. Smell it? Yes, what is it? It's my new perfume. I got it at a bargain. Isn't it seductive? Kiss of the East makes men forget. You were cheated, <laughs> darling. Uh, now you'll have to go. Oh, so you don't like me tonight? You don't like my perfume? You haven't even kissed me? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I really meant to do that, but your perfume made me forget. Oh, darling. <laughs> no, no, uh, darling, you, you'll really have to go, please. But I don't want to. No. Come on, quick, this way. No. Good night. Good night and go home. Kiss of the East. Do you miss your husband? Very much. But he won't be back till tomorrow. Are you quite sure? Good evening, Your Highness. Good evening, Joseph. Good evening, madam. Good evening.
Come in. Shall I serve the champagne now, Your Highness? My favorite vintage. How did you know? Well, I really didn't know. I read the story of Madame's life. Oh. Have you ever heard me sing? Once at the opera in Paris. Madame was magnificent. Oh, thank you. Did your butler learn his diplomacy from you? My dear, the prince is only as diplomatic as his butler. Thank you, Your Highness. Are. I assure you, I do. If mine had his way, I'd never go out. He's wise. Meaning? Women, madame, are like cigars. Cigars? Once you let them go out, they are never so good again. And I've always been so true to my husband. You are much too good to be true. Oh. You have the most beautiful throat in all Vienna. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Come in. What a perfectly exquisite case. You like it? It was given to me by the Shah of Persia. Really? It's beautiful. I've never seen one like it. My dear, it's yours. Oh, no, I couldn't take it. Why not? If you like it, I want you to have it. You're very generous. But how could I possibly explain such a gift to my husband? You're very sweet. Thank you just the same. Paris, you have the most beautiful throat in all Vienna. It was given to me by the Shah of Persia. My dear, it's yours. No? Alarm, darling. I'll find out. Joseph? Joseph! Your Highness. Oh. Come in. What happened to the lights, Joseph? A thousand pardons, Your Highness. The fuse burned out. Hmm. I'll attend to it at once. Thank you, Joseph. This is charming. No. No. Well, maybe. What do you want me to sing? That little song you like so well in Paris? Baltin, and I want to see the prince at once. I'm sorry, sir, but his highness is not at home. I know that his highness is at home, and that there's a lady with him. I'm very sorry, sir, but his highness has gone to bed. So early, alone? I don't believe you. Well, I... I... Does his highness play the piano in bed? Yes, sir, his highness is very musical. Damn. That's my wife, sing! I assure you, sir, there is no one singing. Get out of my yes, way! What? What? Let's all the row, Joseph. 
I'm Baron von Balti. How do you do, Baron? Happy to meet you. Oh. Your Highness, that is my wife singing in there. Yes. Uh, hasn't she a beautiful voice? Ah. Won't you come in? Who's... Oh. Thought. My favorite record of the Baroness. She sings that magnificently, doesn't she? I, I hope you'll forgive me. I, I'm sorry. Oh, my dear Baron, uh, we all make mistakes. You see, I, I came home a day ahead of time to uh, surprise my wife. And when I called at the opera house this evening and they told me that the Baroness had left with you, well, naturally, I... Uh, naturally, uh, <laughs> I understand how you felt. I was at the opera this evening and your wife was kind enough to let me drive her home. Oh, indeed. May I use the telephone, Your Highness? I would like to call my wife. <laughs> yes, uh, certainly, my dear Baron. <clears throat> certainly. Allow me to uh, phone your home for you. Provencal 24316. Hello? The Baroness von Barton at home? Baron von Barton calling. The Baron is calling, madam. Are you at home? Oh, yes, thank you. Hello. Hello, dear. Hello, darling. When did you get back? Just an hour ago. Really? I've missed you so terribly. I'm coming home at once. Please do, darling. You won't be long, will you? I'm so lonely for you. Where are you now? I'm at Prince von Romer's apartment. What on earth are you doing there? Um, well, I'll explain that when I get home. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, darling. Me, I, madam. Good night, madam. You had better use the back door. Good night, Joseph. Thank you. Oh. It's still very early. Surely you want to refuse a glass of champagne? Oh, but really, I couldn't. But I insist. <laughs> oh, Joseph. Champagne. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, uh, my wife is waiting. Oh, good night, Your Highness. Uh, good night. Uh, uh, thank you very much for driving my wife home. Oh, it was a pleasure, Baron. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Baron. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Cognac, Joseph. It's already your highness. Joseph, I'm just beginning to appreciate your position. It must be a great strain to be a butler to Prince. 
Yes, Your Highness. Uh, uh, that is that there are too many barons in the world. <laughs> you must be quite a Casanova, Joseph. But Casanova was an aristocrat, Your Highness. Do you handle your own affairs as well as you do mine? They are not like yours, Your Highness. Cooks, parlor maids, perhaps a governess at Christmas time. They don't appreciate finesse. Prince von Roma's apartment. The butler speaking. I couldn't say, sir. I see, sir. Count von Lear, Your Highness. Von Lear? Von Lear? But the Countess told me he was dead. He sounds like a very angry corpse, Your Highness. Well, tell him I've gone to... Uh, His Highness is going to... Uh, to... Uh, to... Uh, Timbuktu. Timbuktu. What place did you recommend, sir? Joseph. Where did these come from? Miss Daisy left them here this evening, Your Highness. Daisy? Again? She promised me she would drown herself. She's waiting for the warm weather, Your Highness. Well, let's hope we have it soon. If I may make a suggestion, Your Highness, change of air would do you good. You're right. New scenery, that's what I want. We could open the villa at Monte Carlo, Your Highness. Take the express tomorrow, Joseph. I will follow. One. Là -bas, monsieur. May I, madame? Uh, uh, the regular dinner, please. Lequel? Le poulet ou le rôti? Of course. Très bien, monsieur. Have you come to page 26 yet, madame? Uh, uh, pardon me, but that is where the lady loses her, uh, her way home. Uh, shall I close that window for you, madame? No, thank you. I, I just thought that madame was uh, rather cold. Monsieur, are you trying to start a conversation with me? Yes, madame. Please don't trouble. <laughs> Stuart, my purse is gone. I had it in my lap a minute ago. Well, it isn't here, madame. I know that, but where could it have got to? Are you sure you had it with you, madame? Of course, didn't you see it? I did not, madame. What shall I do? Is this your purse, madame? Oh, yes. Many thanks, monsieur. Madame should be careful. How can I thank you, monsieur? It was so kind of you to take so much trouble. Oh, no trouble at all. I was hoping the purse was lost so that you would have dinner with me. But I'm having dinner with you, monsieur. Uh, at least at the same table. Oh, you were here anyway. So that's no reward for having found the bag. You're very nice, monsieur. Uh, so you will have dinner with me? Uh, uh, waiter. Uh, uh, champagne, Clicquot, 1921. Uh, do you like Clicquot, 1921? Oh, I adore it. I... Uh, yes, it's quite nice. It's all right. I will send the wine steward, monsieur. <laughs> 